Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of third problem from exercise 10.1 from straight lines chapter class 11. At the end of this video, similar type of questions are given. Please practice them. Now moving to the problem. Find the distance between PX1, Y1 and QX2, Y2 when PQ is parallel to the Y axis and second one is PQ is parallel to the X axis. So, here the first condition is there are two points are given and the first condition is PQ is parallel to the Y axis. Here they didn't mention any uh, quadrant. The points are in any quadrant. So, if you see these figures, you will understand PQ can be in the first quadrant and can be in the second or uh, third or fourth or one point can be in the first quadrant or second point can be in the fourth quadrant because here the condition given is it is parallel to the y axis. The points if you join then the line is parallel to the y axis. So if you observe here x1 and x2 are equal because uh, the line is parallel to the y axis means the x coordinates are same. Anyway you can see the x coordinates are same. So x1 is equal to x2. So if eq is parallel to y axis then x1 is equal to x2. Now, distance between the two points is we know that this formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here, x2 is equal to x1, so it is 0. So, square root of y2 minus y1 whole square, that is plus or minus y2 minus y1. So, plus or minus, it can be negative or positive. So, you can write this as mod of y2 minus y1. And in the second condition, it is pq is parallel to x axis. So, if it is parallel to y axis, then x1 is equal to x2. If, we get, if it is parallel to x axis, then y1 is equal to y2. You can see from this figure, y1 is equal to y2. So, distance between these two points is square root of here y1, y2 are equal. So, it is 0. So, square root of x2 minus x1 whole square, that is plus or minus x2 minus x1. Or you can write mod x2 minus x1. Now, please do these practice questions. Let's the answers. 